Lift your voices and give him thanks and praise. Lift your voices and give him thanks and praise. Go ahead and thank him. Thank the God of heaven. The God that makes the way. Where there is no way. Where there is no way. No way at all. Where you are not qualified. Where you are not supposed to be. The Lord that can take you there. The Lord that can make you become who your dream is. Go ahead and give him time and praise. Thank him like you know. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. merciful name. Now, the reason why it's a taboo, it's forbidden, not to give God thanks is because you don't have any other helper. No man can help you if God doesn't push you. No man. Forget all those things. No man will remember you except God puts you in the heart of that man. So you are privileged when God puts you in somebody's heart. Ordinary 10,000, nobody will give you. Except God lays that you in that person's heart. So today, as you give God thanks, may your name appear in the helper's heart. Can I hear you say, my father? Thank you because you are my helper. Go ahead and give him thanks and praise your voices and thank him is my helper. I am no other helper. I am no other helper. Except my God. Go ahead and thank him. It is pride not to thank God.
The present hand, ever present, never coming late. In Jesus' merciful name, lift your two hands to heaven and let me summarize that prayer in your life. That at the point of your need, may death help show forth. At the point of our need, no matter what, no matter, no matter how bad the circumstance, the condition may be, may the help of God show forth in your life. I pray for somebody here. In the day of trouble, may the Lord help you. Can I hear you say, my father? my father? Pray like you understand. Say, my father. My father. Send your help from your sanctuary. My into my life. My into my family. My into our church. Send your help, Lord. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Let help come from heaven. Let help come from your sanctuary. Send your help, Lord. Send help to me. Send help to every member of this church. Jehovah God. Manda Balaba. Yeke Takata. Amprata Shilado. Sekodo. Hey, Baba. Lagada Baba 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 Baba. Send help, Lord. Let help. Take us away from our lockdown. Take me away from my prison. Ah, Yaga Baba Daya. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So shall it be. In Jesus' merciful name. Sit down. Sit down with a clap to Jesus, our helper. Are you clapping for our helper? Clap your hands. For the helper, Amen. Now listen. You see, I came to discover that when you don't understand what you need, you may not get it from God. When you don't understand what you need. You begin to ask for several things that are not important. What you need right now is the help of God. The help of God. And I want you to write down some few things I'm going to be saying. Because in the next 20 years, if Christ tarries, they will still be relevant to your life. Number one, where you are now, is how much you have been helped. Where you are now, your present level is how much help you have had so far. Because if somebody had helped you more than this, you would have been better than this. Every man is a picture of how much help is present in his life. It doesn't take magic to back away from that compound. It only takes help. It's help. If you don't get the help, you will be there, even if you don't like it. Nobody changes circumstance because of offense or annoyance. I don't like it. You quarrel with everybody in the compound, you come back until help comes. So today, I pray for somebody here that God Almighty will help you. Now, you see, my prayer is not conventional. I'm praying a prayer that is very direct and specific. That today, everyone hearing the sound of my voice, God will bring help to your life. Life is quicker. Visions are attainable. Dreams come to pass when you 
you have help. When you have help. Do you know why I am wetting your appetite with what I'm saying now? Because I want you to begin to hungry for help. Blessed are those who are hunger and thirsty for righteousness, for favor, for help, for financial help, for whatsoever, for they shall be filled. So it takes hunger for God to respond. But when you don't know, you're hungry. You'll be judging people. Uh, this will not help me. This one in London, it not help any of us. This, this one not help me. This one not become manager. It not help any of us. My junior brother, not help me. So your heart is full of bitterness instead of your heart to be full of expectation from God. Uh, that person not agree help me. Those, those things don't make you go forward. What makes you go forward is to know the truth about God's word that only God can help you. Only God. Even your husband cannot help you. Only God can help you. God wants to help you. He puts the resources in your husband's hand and puts your name in the resources. Only God. No matter how you hold and cry, he can't help you. When Rachel held Jacob and said, Give me a child, give me a child. Jacob said, Am I God that can give child? I'm not God. I cannot. See, your sister is having children. It's not my fault. So I'm not I'm not impotent. Your sister is having children. You cannot have it's not me. And then she went back to God and cried. And the Lord opened her womb. Even though she was delayed, she she gave birth to the golden child. She gave birth to the Messiah, Joseph. So it's not who starts first. It's who laid the golden egg. <laughs> the founder lays the golden egg. There are three things that does in your life. Three things. Very, very important. Number one. Very, very important. Number one, your health is what determines your opportunity. You are never opportune in life except you are helped. You don't have opportunity to make money. You don't have opportunity to go forward. You don't have opportunity to live in a better house. You don't have opportunity to send your child to a good school. You don't have opportunity. Every opportunity escapes a man that is helpless. Opportunity is guaranteed by him. Father, I pray for everyone hearing me right now. May you have chains of opportunities in your life. What brings opportunity? Of course, you see, let me say this. Let me say it more emphatically. That opportunities are everywhere. And several times we see opportunities. But we can't take them. Sometimes you even see opportunity. You see advert, a school that is good. You see a job. You see potential. You see somebody, American, uh, this, anyway, um, Canadian something. You see that. You see a lot of advert. But you cannot access it. Because you can't take that opportunity as nobody to help you. There are good players, suckers. We see people in the streets, young boys who play well. But they don't have somebody to help them. They don't have people to help them. You think there are no people better than Tano Wankwo, those days, Gigi Okocha? The present day city that plays for Leicester City. You think we don't have people who can play soccer in the streets of Ajegule and Lagos? But they rot away with their talents because there are no helpers, nobody to help them. And some of our children, except they find help, listen, you, it's time 
for you to wake up to know that what you need now is help. It's help. Number two, help is what brings respect to your life. You can't you respect me. Do you know me? Forget. If you are not helped, nobody respects you. Nobody. You are not entitled to be respected because you don't have help. It is your help that makes you better than the other person. It's your help. You know why I'm showing you this? I want to prepare you so that you can cry for that help. And God will give you. You say, but I've been a Christian for 30 years. It doesn't matter. Now the day you know the truth, that day God, they respond. So forget yesterday. The day you know the truth, you are free. And that is why, what brings the truth? The word of God. Thy word is truth and life. Thy word. You see? On Wednesday, this place is supposed to be filled up. 45 minutes service. Hear the word of God. Hear it. Masticate it. Absorb it. Let it enter into your system. And pray with all your heart. 45 minutes. And then with 15 minutes we dance and worship God and then we go home. And then in the night an angel appears to you and says, My daughter, go to Broad Street tomorrow. I have sent somebody to help you. That's why they happen. You just take your name and put it in somebody's heart. And the Bible says that night the king could not sleep. Why? Because Mordecai has to be helped. You can't help yourself, sir. You can't help yourself. No, if you like best now, then I don't bet. We you best what you want. Nobody the best prosper. You can't help yourself. God must help you. Lift your right hand. I decree by the mercy of God. This November, December, may your help come down. I say your help is coming down. Whosoever has mocked at you and despised you and said this one, oh, don't finish. Nala. God will put that shame back to them. Your help is, has come. No, 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 you didn't answer. I said your help has come. So, number three, your help is what brings your progress. Your help is what brings your progress. Going forward is progress. From there to there to the other, you are moving. It's because God helped you. It's because God helped you. Turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 31. Let me just round off from there. Genesis 31. I didn't read this in the first, so it's your own privilege now. Genesis 31, I read verse 3. And I want you to, as we finish reading that verse 3, I want you to pray prayer. Now, verse 3. Can we read it together? Please open your Bible and let's read it together. Genesis 31, verse 3. We are going to read it on top of our voices. Oh yeah, it's on the screen. One to go. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers, and to thy king's right, and I will be with thee there. I will be with thee. I will be with thee. Return. God spoke to Jacob. God, everybody said that. Say, God spoke to Jacob to return to the land of his father. God, say it again. God spoke to Jacob. Do you know that God speaking to you to start that business is not a guarantee? that there will be a problem, or there will be no problem. It's not a guarantee. God has spoken to some people, they still failed. God speaking to you about a project is not a guarantee that you may not fail in the course of execution. You can still fail. Because, is it that God didn't back you? No. 
You didn't know that when God tells you, go to my tomb, you still need to go back to God to collect help. That God showed you that man is your husband. Does it automatically make him a successful marriage? You still need to go back to God to ask for wisdom. To pray for wisdom. To be able to maintain that home with wisdom. Otherwise, you will still fail. Look at it. God spoke to Jacob. Now, look at chapter 32, verse 1. Chapter 32, verse 1. It's on the screen and in your Bible. Let's read together. One to go. And Jacob went on his way. And the angel of God met him. Okay, let's look at verse 2. Give us verse 2. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of the place Mahanaim. Verse 3. Verse 3. And Jacob sent messages before him to Esau. You see? You know what I read up to verse 3? I wanted to show you that the, the Bible did not tell us what the angel of God told Jacob. The angel met him. The Bible stopped there. The next thing Jacob did was to send message. How did he know Esau was coming? Esau was coming with 400 soldiers to kill Jacob, kill his two wives, and finish his 11 children Then kill all of them. That was what was going to happen. But God told him to go. But danger was on the way. God told him to go. Danger was on the way. The angel of God came to help him. Listen, help is not only money. Help can also be information. Anytime you hear help, uh, money, Help may not necessarily be cash. Somebody can give you an information that will save your life. Somebody can give you an information that will make you a money spinner. That will help you to open your own business. Information is one major key to progress. Information. Because what you call help, information is not part of it. You are always thinking that help must be money. Somebody coming to give you a useful information has helped your life. And the angel of the Lord, oh God, may God send his angels for your life. If you don't have life, where is the money? I want you to cry to for help. I want you to say, Father, you are my helper. You know what in the sweet God? When you tell God, when you boast on God, Father, you are my helper. You are my helper. I have no other help beside you, Lord. Father, my heart is open for your help. Oh, God of heaven, send help from your sanctuary. Psalm 20, verse 2. Psalm 20, verse 2. Open it to your Bible. Psalm 20. It says, send, the Lord will send thee help from the sanctuary. And he will strengthen thee out of Zion. He will send you help. He will send you help from his presence. He will send you help. Liberate us. Hear me. I prophesy upon you. And everyone watching on television right now, or watching through the Facebook, or any media, I prophesy upon you, by the mercy of God, that God will send help to your life. God will send help in your business. God will send help in your family. At the point of death, God will send help to you. At the point where your power cannot help you, the Lord will bring help to you. Jump on your feet and shout hallelujah. Somebody say, my father, my heart is ready for help. Send your help, O oh Lord. Open 
your mouth and cry to the Lord. Let the help of God come.